I'm gonna be showing you guys how to revive them, how to revamp it, you know, how to do all of that stuff. Get your wigs to look just like this. This is a wig. I think I have this wig. I can't remember the last time I put this wig on. The last time I put this wig on right here was August. It's January right now. So, yeah, this wig is a little messed up before I put it on. But I'm gonna show you guys the like three basic steps that you need to revamp your wig, to get your wig to have body, you know. Body yaddy yaddy. Get your wig to look like it's brand new, fresh out of the package, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do all of that. Just stay tuned and keep watching. So this is what the wig looked like before I fixed it up. I had this wig sitting in the box for like about six months because the last time I put it in was July and it's now January. So this is what it looks like, crusty, dusty, stiff, but we're gonna fix it. So the first step is to remove the glue. I'm using alcohol, I think it's 91%, and I'm using a cotton ball. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some alcohol on the cotton ball until it's like damp to the point where like when you squeeze it, something will come off. And now I'm just rubbing it in a back and forth motion on the lace to remove the glue. You can rub it in like a circle, in like one direction, whatever you wanna do, just be gentle because you don't wanna leave any holes in the lace. This does take a little bit of time. This is sped up, so obviously it looks faster. Um, there's other methods you can remove your glue using, but this is just works for me. This is what I have in my house, so this is what I use. As you remove the glue, you'll notice that like the glue and the cotton from the cotton ball is getting in the hair, but that's fine because we are gonna end up washing the hair. This is what the list looked like after I moved majority of the glue. As you can see, like you don't see any like white spots on there. There is a little bit of white spots, but not that much. I did end up going back in and removing more. You can also flip your wig over to the other side to remove the glue that way. But as you can see, my wig was too matted to do that. But that's definitely another way you can do it if some glue is on top of the lace as well. So now step two, we're gonna wash and detangle our wig. I'm using cold water just to rinse the wig and then I'm gonna start detangling it with a normal brush. I'm starting from the bottom and I'm reaching my way all the way to the top just to remove the least amount of hair that I can while I'm detangling it. You can detangle it using conditioner or whatever you have if it needs that. My wig was matted, but it wasn't that matted to the point where I need to put conditioner in it to detangle. I prefer using cold water because Hot water does cause the wig to shed more, but it's really your preference. If you're not using the wig a lot, it really doesn't matter, but I just try to keep my wig in as good shape as I can. Now I'm taking my brush and I'm removing all the glue and cotton that got on the wig from me removing the glue.
can just see me at cleanest. She was a Moroccan at the fucking realest. After that, I'm using Cold Blend's repairing shampoo to put on the hair. This shampoo, I think I got it from Walmart. I just love the smell. Like, the smell is very strong. So, like, after you wash it out, the hair does still smell really good. It's kind of like a honey shea butter type of smell and like i just love the smell so this is what i'm using to shampoo my hair i'm just brushing it through you know the normal way you shampoo a wig honestly i just use some shampoo i brush it through i rub it through that's really just what i do Now I'm just going in with some dish soap to remove any oil that was left in the wig after I wore it because oil can definitely make or break how your wig looks once you put it on your head because you don't want it to be stiff or stringy from the oil so yeah I recommend using some dish soap or you can use Dr. Broner's Castile soap it comes in like a little blue bottle The main thing that's gonna get your hair looking brand new and like it just came out the package is to boil it. What I'm doing right now is I put some water in a pot, I put it on the stove on high and once it started boiling, I turned the stove off. Now I put conditioner in it and I'm just mixing it around to get it all over, you know, incorporate it in the water and then I put my wig in it. And you can move your wig around like in intervals. I left my wig in there for probably about like a half an hour. I checked on it sometimes. I moved it around as I checked on it. And yeah, after half an hour, I took it out. This is what it looked like once I took it out. I did notice that when I took it out, it still was like a little oily, I'm guessing because of the conditioner. So usually after this, what I do is I go back and I wash it again, just with Dr. Broner's really quickly, you know, nothing too crazy. But yeah, I just wash it really quick with Dr. Broner's Castile soap and it fixes and it does the job. This is what the lace is looking like after everything. It looks a little weird because my knots were over bleached. But yeah, after that, I just sit my wig in front of the fan and let it air dry for about like an hour. And now we're going to install our wig. Turn me inside out, out, make my heart beat. Need no one else, you're all I need. Personality, everything you do, it's me to love. Everything about you.
When I bring my head closer to the camera after I take the band off, you'll be able to see that my lace is over bleached. So what I did was I used mascara to cover up the yellowness. So this is what my hair looked like when I was finished. I did end up cutting it into a bob and I bumped the ends to give it like a little more volume. I did use the Chi hair oil before I flat ironed it just to make it like more soft. But yeah, this is what she looks like. Really cute. Not stiff at all. This is how to revamp your wig and bring it back to life using three easy steps with everything you have at home. If you would like to see more videos like this, just comment down below and like this video. And stay tuned for my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys when I see you guys. Peace.